Okay, I've got eight ounces of partially frozen flat iron steak here. Flank steak works really good. Flat iron's what I found on the market. I don't like slicing it too thin, but you can slice it however thin or thick you like it. All right, we're gonna marinate our steak. First ingredient, rice wine. Second ingredient is regular soy sauce, just plain old light soy sauce. All ingredients will be listed below and under show more. I've got a pinch of salt and a pinch of sugar. Now we're gonna mix this up. And then we're gonna put in a little bit of cornstarch. And we're gonna mix this up until we don't see any more white spots. All right, let's get our sauce made up. To some chicken stock, I'm gonna add some rice wine, some dark soy sauce. Now remember, all the ingredients are gonna be listed under the show more info box. Got some regular soy sauce. A little bit of sugar. A little bit of roasted sesame oil. Now here I've got a pinch of salt, a pinch of white pepper, and a pinch of Chinese five spice powder. I only use a pinch. You can add more Chinese five spice if you want to. All right, I need to slice up half of an onion. So to start, I gotta make half an onion. And we're just gonna set this other half to the side. We'll use that later in something else. And then we're gonna come in here and we're gonna try to evenly slice this thing the best we can. I need uh, one bell pepper. Today I'm using a red one. Sometimes I mix up the colors. I'll use half of a red, half of a yellow, half of a green, whatever. Whatever you got, whatever you like, it's all up to you. Anyway, we're gonna cut these seeds out. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut these into manageable pieces that'll be easier to mess with in the wok. We're just gonna chop these up kind of evenly. All right, I'm just gonna give this garlic clove a couple of whacks, just kind of mash it down. Probably should give it a rough chop, but hey, I was being kind of lazy. Got a slice of ginger here that I've already peeled, and we're just gonna give it a rough chop. All right, I put my beef in a hot wok with a little bit of oil, and after I do that, I let it sit there for a couple of seconds, and it kind of releases. When you first put it in there, it's always kind of stuck. Anyway, we're just gonna stir this around, and we're gonna cook it till it's about 75 to 80% done. That's at the point when most of the red is off the outside of the meat. All right, most of the red is off the outside of the meat. I mean, it's still got some pink spots and such, but anyway, at this point, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the beef out of the pan and put it on a plate. So we took the beef out, we'll put the wok back on the burner, let it warm up, put some more oil in here. We're gonna stir that oil around, make sure that oil gets nice and hot, because you don't wanna put food into cold oil. Anyway, we're gonna put our onion in the pot now, and we're gonna soften these onions up just a little bit. We're not going for completely mushy or brown or anything like that. Just until they start to soften. All right, our onions are getting translucent. We're going to go ahead and we're going to put our garlic and ginger in here. And we'll let that cook for about a minute. And after about a minute, we're going to put our bell peppers in here. And we're going to cook until everything's tender. All right, when our veggies are cooked how we want, we're going to put our meat back in the pan. And we're going to go back to cooking. Finish cooking up that meat. All right, so when our meat is warmed back up, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put our sauce in here and we're gonna start to mix that in. And when our sauce comes up to a boil, we're gonna add our cornstarch slurry. That's simply one tablespoon of cornstarch, one tablespoon of water. You can use stock if you want to. And whenever you, it comes to a boil, it's gonna thicken the sauce that's in here. It doesn't add any flavor or anything like that. So you can use potato starch or cornstarch. It's, it's all good. And all we're going to do now is we're going to heat this up, and when it gets nice and thick, we're going to plate it and serve it. So, how does it taste? Mmm. A hint of five spice. The meat's nice and tender. Give it a try.